Unintelligible to most people, second nature to the radio ham. These amateurs belong to the Stockport Radio Society, making as many contacts as they can all over the world. Jim Barlow, call sign G3VOU, very often useless. A is didar. Uh, one of the hard ones is Q, which is da, da, dit, da. In many ways, it's very rhythmical as well, so it's like playing a musical instrument. I had striven to give the world improved and cheaper means of communication by electrical transmissions through space. Morse and the SOS distress call became internationally recognised a hundred years ago. As an alarm signal, it's now fallen out of use, replaced in the maritime community by satellite. But there are still more than 60,000 radio amateurs in Britain, two million in America, and competition amongst them is fierce. There's been an amateur radio society in Stockport for 88 years. Nowadays they operate from this scout hut. And most of these people have got aerials like this at home. They've won national championships for making the most foreign contacts through Morse. Bernard Naylor, call sign G3SHF. I made a small homemade transmitter and using Morse code, I uh, managed to get to Australia, uh, which was very satisfying. What did they say to you? They said, hi Bernard. I didn't know who I was talking to, but he knew me. This man from Bramhall teaches Morse on air to new enthusiasts every week. I call sign G3KAF, Golf 3 Kilo Alpha Foxtrot. I taught a lady uh, some years ago who passed a Morse test and uh, she went on the air and started communicating with a chap in Norway. And in the end they got married. It is the method of communication that has saved more lives than any other method of communication. That's one reason why it'll never die, because there's people around to make sure it'll be preserved. Eleanor Moritz, Northwest Tonight, Stockport.